the coldest substance in the universe isn't what you think. When you think of the coldest substance in the universe, images of the vast emptiness of space, or maybe the frozen poles of distant planets might flash through your mind. Perhaps you picture the frigid ice moons of Jupiter or Neptune, or the eerie silence of deep interstellar space where temperatures hover just above absolute zero. But what if I told you that the coldest temperatures we've ever encountered, colder than the vacuum of space, have been created not light years away, but right here on Earth, inside advanced scientific laboratories? It's true, and the answer to this frosty mystery might just blow your mind. Welcome to the bizarre and fascinating world of Bose-Einstein condensates, BECs, the coldest form of matter we know. These are not your average gases, liquids, or solids. They exist in a state of matter that behaves more like a quantum puzzle than anything we're familiar with in daily life. When atoms are cooled to temperatures a fraction of a billionth of a degree above absolute zero, 273, 15 dose or zero Kelvin, something strange begins to happen. The atoms slow down almost completely and begin to act as if they are one single superatom, sharing the same quantum state. Let that sink in for a moment. We've created temperatures in laboratories that reach within 100 picokelvin, zero, 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 one K. That's 500 million times colder than deep space, which typically hovers around 2.7 Kelvin due to the cosmic microwave background radiation. It's so cold that conventional thermometers don't work. Scientists have to measure energy at the atomic level just to determine how cold things really are. But how is this possible? In groundbreaking experiments, physicists use laser cooling and magnetic traps to slow down particles. Laser cooling might sound like an oxymoron. How can light, which carries energy, be used to cool something down? Here's where the genius of quantum mechanics steps in. By precisely tuning laser beams to slightly lower frequencies than the natural resonance of atoms, Scientists can bombard atoms with photons that push against their motion, effectively slowing them down. This process saps away their kinetic energy, which is essentially what temperature measures. Once the atoms are chilled enough, magnetic traps can find them in ultra-high vacuum chambers. Then, they can undergo further cooling via evaporative cooling, much like how sweat cools our skin. Except here, it's the most energetic atoms that are siphoned off, leaving the rest colder than before. Eventually, the atoms reach a threshold where they condense into a Bose-Einstein condensate, a state of matter so exotic that it behaves as a single quantum entity. So what's the big deal? Why should we care about making something this cold? Beyond the novelty, BECs provide a portal into the quantum world. They allow scientists to study quantum mechanics on a macroscopic scale, something that's otherwise nearly impossible. We can simulate black holes, observe quantum entanglement in action, and even explore how matter might behave in conditions similar to those just after the Big Bang. BECs are already being used in next-generation technologies, from quantum computing and atomic clocks to precision sensors that could revolutionize everything from navigation to earthquake detection. But perhaps the most mind-bending part? These ultra-cold conditions are not naturally found anywhere in the universe, not in deep space, not on exoplanets, not even in the coldest regions of the cosmic web. We've literally manufactured the coldest spots in the known cosmos, right in the controlled confines of human-made labs. It flips our everyday understanding on its head. Heat is easy to find. Cold is far more elusive. An absolute zero? It's not just a theoretical boundary. It's the Mount Everest of low-temperature physics, one that we can climb ever so close to, but never quite conquer. So the next time you feel a chill on a winter night, or marvel at the frozen silence of a snowy landscape, remember, the coldest place in the universe isn't some faraway frozen exoplanet. It's in a vacuum chamber, inside a lab, on a lab bench here on Earth, crafted by human hands, guided by laser light, and chilled to near quantum perfection. Like and subscribe.